So I just found a freaking cauldron, we think, guys. And I just spotted this little box. Let's bring it up here. I wonder what could be inside of this. It's filled with muck. I'll start pulling stuff out and see if there's anything in it. Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. I'm back here in New Jersey with Scuba Sonia and we are doing some bottle digging or bottle hunting mudlarking. A little bit of all of that. Now you guys have seen this spot a few times. I'm currently walking across all these rocks to get to our spot. But without further ado, I will see you guys on the first one. And the first find of the trip, we got this here road cone. What? You guys, look at this. A freaking egg. And it's just chilling by itself. There's no other eggs near here. That's weird. We got this little jar here. It looks like it's probably a pond scream or something. Oh, bamboozled is broken. It is a Coke bottle, guys, but it is broken and old. Monarch. This thing's got a handle on it. Oh, is this for like drywalling to put the sander on? That is more for tiling. For tiling. Nice. I... Oh, it's got a little spout on it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. We love finding these little blue pieces of pottery. So you just found this one. Ooh. You guys want to pump, no pump some iron? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Miley on it. Look at that. <laughs> no, it definitely is. A little torch lighter. It's not a bad find. We've been finding a lot of these all over the place. For those of you who say I plant stuff, look at this. I'm not planting nothing. <laughs> Bikes are all in the rivers every day. New gaff, guys. Hey! Land ho! This little piece, and it says cheetah on it. Oh man, that would have been so nice. There we go, guys. I got myself a new pedal for my bike. And then if you look over this way, someone just pointed out, there's a desk chair. We got a wheel. I know you guys love when I find wheels, but we got one wheel there, and we got another wheel there. What kind of CD did you get over here? Actually, it's a game. Got God of War, if anyone wants to play. We got a Coca-Cola bottle over here. Oh, it says something. Brookfield, I think. I saw this part. <laughs> That's awesome. If you guys listen closely, we've got some live music going on in the back. It's not very often we get some live music while we're out here on the river. Perfect. Well, look at all the fish. I got something here, guys. Looks like the handlebar off a bicycle. <laughs> the bottle here, guys. It's got little bumps on it. <laughs> it's a slick other than that. Go wash it off. Tenage Packing Company. It's got some design here on there. It looks like an older top though. Right? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, that's a nice one. If anybody needs a seat, I got you with this here chair. You got another chair over there. It's a Pepsi. It's hard to tell. But if you read the label. Yeah, I don't know how old it is. <laughs> Got myself a little badminton racket. There's the bottom to another chair over here. We've been finding lots of chairs today. I don't know, we'll one. I think we have one of these, but I can't recall which one it is. That is cool. I don't remember that one either. <laughs> Sonya just spotted this, guys. Let's <laughs> Look at Look that. At that. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> I wonder if there's anything on the top. Check this out, guys. I didn't, it looked like there was something on the bottom, but it's this too far gone. It looks like it was a Maryland board. It's got the yellows and reds. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool. It's got little things on the bottom. I got a sign. Really? You can't read it anymore, but it was a sign. Cool. Look at that. That's a way different one. Yeah. It's got a trademark on it. It's a twist top on top. Well, it's still a Coke bottle, guys. Look at that. Nice little Coca-Cola. Fanta. Oh, that's cool. 
I don't know if we have any of those. this one out. It's a Fanta. We do have these, but without the label. Oh, now we know what they are. Yeah. Wanta, wanta, don't you wanta, wanta, Fanta. <laughs> Brookdale Beverages. That is so cool. That's a nice one. Uh-huh. From Bloomfield, New Jersey. It brings you a sparkling refreshment and your favorite flavor from our daylight plant. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> your friendly welcomes you. I've never heard of AMP. Is that still around? It's gotta be an older version. I just found a Chevy hubcap. Did you lose your hubcap? It's a nice Coke bottle. Does it have a year? 54. A little bit green and it's from 1954. <laughs> we got this giant bottle here. No way! <laughs> this is the biggest one we've ever found. Look at this Coke! It's huge! And this is the largest Coke bottle we have ever come across. It still says cola here, and on the other side you can see it says Coke trademark. One pint. That's a huge Coke bottle. We got ourselves another hubcap. <laughs> That's a unicycle. I just wanted a unicycle, guys. All right, I found a bottle. I don't see where it went. There it is. Pepsi. <laughs> That's the same one. Yep, another little Pepsi bottle. You see the label right there. And I got a wheel. And I found a little bottle, and I found one too. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. A little Bromo Seltzer. So pretty. I found a golf ball. <laughs> what are the odds? You never find golf balls. There's a cauldron, you guys. Oh, you no way. You want to pull it out? Yeah. Someone just found a freaking cauldron, we think, guys. It is. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> These are worth a decent amount of money, too. Oh, figure. <laughs> that is so cool. That's got to come with us. It has all three legs. It's missing a little bit. It's deteriorated a little bit up top, but. Yeah, but that I'm is gonna go wash that out. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone needs to do some cooking, I got you. Oh, Whoa. Oh, this reminds me of that white one, except it doesn't have anything on it. That's so nice, though. That's one of the older ones you can tell from the top. <laughs> and I got a bike tire, guys. I got another Coke bottle. This one doesn't have a date on it or anything. Still cool find. <laughs> Screwdriver. And the tool man. Look at that. <laughs> what is that even used for? I'd say in a garden of some sort. That's so cool. Sink, sink, sink it up, guys. Sink it up. Not every day you find a sink in the river. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. I just found Sonya's gonna freak out right now. Mine's better. <laughs> it's a toy. <laughs> you would find it. Oh, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, no way! I oh. thought it was real at first. Uh, yeah, that's better. But I do find a blue bottle. Oh. Maxima. Man. Bang, bang. That's awesome. Kase. Oh, I about had a heart attack when I saw it. <laughs> I really thought it was real at first. Oh, that's weird that it's flat on the one side. I wonder why. It's We've like half a bottle. Decoration on here. Yeah. That's interesting. Keep a keep a. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine, mine. <laughs> oh. Wow, look at the top on oh. that one. Let's go wash this this little blue guy off. Me and Sonya just saw it at the same exact time. Yeah. Literally the same time. Oh it is mine. <laughs> oh. Bromo Seltzer Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, Maryland. That might be one of the best Bromo Let seltzers we've ever that. found. Is totally uneven, but that is <laughs> so cool. And the embossing is just perfect. <laughs> Anybody need a popper? A little <laughs> popper bottle. If you don't know what a popper is, look up poppers online, little brown bottles, and it'll tell you all the answers you need to know. NS so <laughs> NSFW. Yeah, not safe for work. Ooh. Ink bottle. Yeah. 
Wash it off, wash it off, wash it off. It is cool. You can tell, look at the brim of it. I, mean, eh. I wish it was embossed. A drill over here, guys. Who lost their drill? It's a Makita. Guys, I wish this was full. So, so I'm gonna see it too. Look what I found. Oh, so this, what this is, is a late 1800s, right around 1880, 1890 beer bottle. Look at that. Tanner found that, and I just spotted this little bottle right here. You guys know I love the little ones, so that's a keeper. I think it might be part of that. Um, that bong? That bong that <laughs> it's part of the bong song you found a while back. I just got another bike in here. I swear I stay finding bikes. Oh, that one's in there good. That's not coming out. <laughs> and we just found a pogo stick, guys. Okay, guys, Sonia just spotted this little box. Let's bring it up here. Oh, it's got a spot for a lock. Oh. Oh. I gotta get out of here first. <laughs> All right, guys. I wonder what could be inside of this. It's filled with muck. I'll start pulling stuff out and see if there's anything in it. It feels like there's rocks in here so far. Some shells. Some shells. And it's empty. Dang it. Oh, big spider. <laughs> but on the way out, I found this little crab. Sonia. Just spotted this little bottle. It says Pyrex on it. And what this would have been used for is a little baby bottle. And this one's way cooler than our other one. It's in better shape too. It's got the little measuring marks on the back. That's crazy. Let's do it. Did you guys ever use these Pyrex baby bottles? We are wrapping up. The water is rising rapidly and it's not cooperating today. But we did have a really good day out here. We found that skateboard right towards the beginning, a couple really cool bottles, that giant Coke bottle, which is one of my favorite. And the all time favorite today has gotta be that Bromo Seltzer bottle that was embossed out of Baltimore, Maryland. If you guys have not, make sure you guys head over to Scuba Sonia's channel, hit subscribe, follow her over on TikTok. And also make sure you guys hit subscribe for me, turn on those alerts. I post new videos every single Friday. Also, coming up July 16th, don't forget, at 9 a.m. at John D. Dingle Park, we're hosting the second annual Get the Motor City Magnet Fishing event again, and we hope to see a bunch of you there. For more information, you can check the link down below for the GoFundMe, and I will see you guys next week. Cash